Right, so I don't own a tripod because uh, I'm not an influencer. So if this falls down halfway through, I'm gonna pick it back up and then just continue. Let's talk about wrist problems. Uh, so I have something wrong with my wrist. Uh, I don't know what I actually have. I assume it's day curvains. Uh, it could be intersection syndrome. Who knows what the hell it is. Uh, I did it because I'm stupid and I was using straps. Um, so I was doing snatches and uh, someone once told me I should, I want to give credit to this person for it, but I don't think they would appreciate me giving their name and telling them that they said it. But they told me that serious athletes don't fuck their hands up so that they can't train the next day. And so I was using straps because I was doing high rep snatches uh, and I pissed my wrist off. Okay, so how do you fix this, right? Your wrist is jammed because you did a clean or something. By the way, do not use straps on cleans. For the love of God, let me say that twice. Do not use straps on cleans. You know how many people I've seen break their wrists? Don't do that. Um, it's not worth it. All right, so we're going to play a little game here. What you're going to do is you're going to Walmart, and you're going to get yourself an inner tube. It's just a regular bike tube thing. I think this costs $4. And then you're going to come home, and you're going to cut it. I saved you that part of the video because I actually, uh, well... I didn't want to sit there trying to cut this and then find out that my scissors weren't sharp and I looked like an asshole. So I cut it. All right. I don't even care about the stupid plug thing because you're going to hold on to this part anyway. So here we go. Ready? You take your wrist. You're going to hold this in your hand. Okay. And then we're going to take this tube and we're going to pull it tight. You see how it's got a little bit of a stretch to it? Almost like a little bit of elasticity. You're going to pull it tight and you're going to wrap around the wrist. Real, real tight. This is way tighter than you would want this to be if you were putting like an ace bandit or something, okay? We're gonna wrap this around the wrist, right? My pain is right here in this little spot, okay? So I'm making sure that that's where it gets the most pressure on it. But I'm actually gonna wrap past it because that tendon travels down your arm, okay? Then I'm gonna come back up with this, still pulling tight every time. So I pull, so it's stretched, I wrap, and I pull so it's stretched, and now I'm gonna wrap my thumb. So let me turn the other way so you can see where I do this. I'm gonna wrap it around my thumb. This is like wrapping your hands for boxing or something, kind of a little bit similar. Pulling it tight, lots of stretch. Wrapping around the hand still, okay? Wrapping that thumb again. Really stretching this thing as best as I can, all right? I'm gonna pull tight, wrap around the wrist again. Here we go. You take this part here and you're just gonna try to hold it in your palm as best as you can okay so now my thumb is all wrapped up i'm holding this with my fingers okay and then i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna work my wrist around in circles this is very very tight you don't want to leave it on for a very long time this is actually unpleasant so you understand this this is so tight that it actually hurts okay it's physically painful with how much pressure i have on this thing and that's important so now i'm gonna work my wrist back and forth work my wrist up and down. Uh, there's something called a, is it a Finkelman test or a Finkelstein test or something like that? You put your thumb down and then you go like this and that's how you know if you have Dacre veins. Okay, that really hurts for me. So this direction here is extremely painful. This like really fucking hurts. I'm gonna come up too. Okay, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Then I'm gonna try to work my thumb back and forth as best as I can, but because it wraps so tight, I'm gonna have to use my other hand as assistance. So I'm work my thumb back and forth here. This is really unpleasant. Like I'm trying to be, I'm trying to talk well while also putting myself into a pain cave. Uh, so this is, this is not pleasant. Put my thumb down. I'm gonna work my wrist a little bit while my thumb's down. This really, really fucking hurts. Do some rotation. Okay, you're gonna do that for as long as you can stand to do it. But I realize that you don't wanna watch a video that's, you know, 10 minutes long. So basically, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna wrap it up real tight like this, okay? You're gonna work your wrist around. You're gonna do a whole bunch of this shit. And then, it's real magic. You just take it off, okay? And then after you take it off, you wanna just move around again. Keep it moving. Actually, I already have more range of motion in it just from doing that, okay? And even though I only did it for like four minutes, not even, like three minutes. Right there, I already have more range of motion in it. Do this a couple times a day, okay? Do this, hell, three or four times a day. Do it right before you train. Do it in between sets. Like, do it whenever you want to do it. Fit it in. Move your wrist around. Break it up. And you will notice that already I am actually doing significantly better.
even in that small little window, and usually I do it for at least five or six minutes, um, just getting that wrist moving. When you compress it, it pushes all that fluid out. What you have here, at least in this case, is what's called tendocinivitis. So this is not tendonitis, this is tendocinivitis. The tendon sheath is filled with fluid. When you create all this pressure and compression, it pushes that fluid out. Suddenly I have more range of motion, okay? Now, it's gonna fill back up again, right? And that's why you're gonna do it multiple times a day. So multiple times a day, you're gonna wrap your wrist up, put a whole bunch of compression, move it around, squeeze all that fluid out of it, and it's gonna come back in, and then you're gonna do it again. And if you do this multiple times a day, you'll notice that you, I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna get rid of the pain. It's not like it's, it's, not like it's magical. Like, oh, you do this once and the pain's gone. Like there's no weird one trick bullshit thing here. This just gets your range of motion back. And you wanna keep using your wrist, right? So it doesn't fill back up again. Like it's kind of like even with like tendonitis, like as you keep using it and it warms up and it gets mobile, like it actually feels better. So like, don't just like put your hand in a brace and then sit there between these things. Use your wrist, move it around, go do your lifts, go do whatever you need to do. Do this a few times a day and you will notice that you will recover much faster.